just did my full face and I don't think I ever hit record. You guys want to see how I get these brows to look the way they do right now? Then just keep watching. Alright guys, so I'm wearing a little close here, but it's going to work. So I always like to use the Anastasia Dip Brow and then this one is in medium brown. I just got on my nose. And I'm going to show you on one eyebrow and then we'll fast forward through the other eyebrow, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I like to dip, and I use the Anastasia number 12 brush as well. I've had this brush forever. Like all the writing is rubbed off on it, but it's my favorite brush. So I like to dip this and get both sides kind of saturated. And then I'll take the lid and get off any of the excess. Bring my mirror in there. I don't want you guys to see it. All right, and what I like to do is I kind of do my eyebrows a little different, like each one, which I think is weird, but this is the way I like to do it. So on my right eyebrow, I always start at the upper part of the arch. So I like to use like my hand as a fulcrum and then, you know, just kind of like rest my other hand on it. So I'm going to start at the upper part. I didn't think I was recording. And we're just going to like slowly fill it in and like feather like motions. My brow product is a bit dry. Really got to get in there and work it out. Or if you have the Inglot, what is it, the fluid line or no, Duraline maybe. I'm not sure. But it's a really good product to like re-wet anything that's already dried. So just going back, feather or hair like motions. Feathering it down and I drag my outer corner just a little bit past. And then I come underneath and I start at the inner corner of the eyebrow and underline that. And I and I do it like feathering motions. I don't want to do it anything like too sharp. You guys hear my dog sneezing in the background. Apparently he wants the attention. And now he's itching. Bubby, dude. <laughs> if you notice your brush is getting dry, just dip back in to your color. I always like to use a spoolie because I will go through and spoolie these out as I'm going through with the color. And you kind of like, I don't want to say make it messy, but you'll get color outside of your brow. And I just kind of go in and clean that up, which we'll, we will do later. And I always want the deepest part or the darkest part to be on the outer corner of my brow. And then I want to leave like the center kind of not as filled in. So once I get that kind of just like the outline shape of it, I go in with my brush turned like this and I will just feather in to the inner portion of my eyebrow. And in case any of you guys are wondering if you watched my last video, yes, I'm still pregnant. I don't think she's ever getting out. She doesn't want to leave. But just keep feathering that in. And then I will turn it like this to where it's long ways with my brow. And I don't necessarily like the like boxy looking brows. But I do like kind of like this. And then I'm going to go in and really spoolie this out just to make it look a little bit more natural and then just kind of wipe off wherever there's any excess color that's like gotten on my skin which I do like to go in and clean it up as well but <clears throat> so kind of like that I'm gonna go ahead and throw my other eyebrow on real quick and then I'll be back to show you guys how I clean it up alright guys so now that they are both filled in we're gonna go ahead and clean them up and I'm going to use the NYX HD concealer and this is in nude beige and I'm just going to just take whatever's like on the little doe foot applicator just a little angle brush and I like to get both sides of it with product on <clears throat> what I like to do is taking the angle brush like this we're gonna go underneath and clean it up and I don't do this all the time just kind of if I really want that sculpted brow look 
I'm taking it right up to where we want the underneath of that brow. Then I'll go in with my finger and just kind of blend it out. I don't really drag it down because I always use like a primer on my lid so I don't feel like I need to drag it down. And then for the outside of my brow, that is way too much product, what I like to do is take the brush flat and kind of do the same thing at the top. And again, this is kind of only when I really want my brows to look good. And I use most of the product on the outer corner and then drag what's left on the inner. And if I pull my tail down too low, I'll just put a little product over it and blend it out. So let's clean up the other one and fast. So that is how I do my brows nice and quick. Like when I see people spending like 15, 20 minutes on brows, I just it just doesn't make any sense to me. I can't fathom it. So that is how I do my eyebrows nice and quick. If you guys want to see any other videos, be sure to leave them in the suggestion box below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!